Uh, hi, I am Dr. Jayalakshmi Suraj, Infertility Consultant at Dreamfly IVS Center, Kasaragod. Today, I will be talking to you about intrauterine insemination or popularly known as IUI. So, IUI is a treatment procedure which is given for the infertile couples and uh, in which we are transferring the motile sperms of the husband into the uterus of the wife. As you all know, in normal intercourse, what happens is the sp uh, semen is introduced into the vagina and from the, the sperm will be traveling across the uterus through the fallopian tubes to reach the eggs which is released at the time of ovulation. So the, the fertilization happens at the distal end of the fallopian tube and from the, the embryo travels back into the uh, through the fallopian tube into the uterus and it gets implanted in the uterus. So that's how a normal pregnancy happens. So what happens in infertility? Somewhere there is a difficulty in any of these steps that there may be difficulty in intercourse, the sperms to be deposited in the vagina, the sperm may not be strong enough to travel through the uterus into the through the fallopian tubes to reach the egg, the egg and or there may be difficulty in fertilization, the egg and sperm may not join or the embryo can have difficulty in traveling back into the uterus. So in all these cases infertility can happen. So how does IUI help? In IUI what we do is we are transferring the motile sperms of the husband into the uterus of the wife. So here how all it helps? It helps in a couple who does not ejaculate properly that is who has difficulty in intercourse. Then it can happen in mild male factor infertility. Male factor infertility means those who have count between 10 to 15 million. Normal the sperm count in a semen uh, it should be more than 15 million that is normal count will be around 60 to 120 million. Of this 50 percent will have the capacity to travel through the uterus into the uh, cavity of the uterus. But in mild male factor infertility, it will be about 10 to 15 million. So, in such cases where there is mild uh, motility problems or mild uh, decrease in the count of the sperms, we will have to help them. So, in such cases also, we are, this IUI will help. Third is mild endometriosis. Endometriosis is a condition in which the inner lining of the uterus is shed in, as it shed outside during the periods, it will be shed inside the uterine cavity also into the peritoneal cavity and it gets deposited over the ovaries, over the intestines, over the uh, in, uh, anywhere in the peritoneal cavity it can get uh, it can get deposited and in such case what happens there can be additions between the uterus, the bowels, uh, the urinary bladder between the tubes, ovaries and so that the normal uh, transfer of the egg from the ovary into the fallopian tube is not happening. So in that case there can be difficulty in, in uh, conceiving. So in such cases also um, you can, they can be helped by IUI. So this endometriosis is actually classified as this mild, moderate and severe. Uh, IUI can help only in mild cases of endometriosis where the tubes are patent and where there is adequate number of sperms. So these are the main indications for IUI that is one is mild male factor infertility, second is mild endometriosis and difficulty in intercourse. So these are the three indications.